Hello everyone, I'm Tabitha with Minlet Custom Creations. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a sunflower and cow print tumbler. Go ahead, stay tuned, watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, everyone. What I have here is a 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow Craft. I did spray paint it with Rust Oleum Flat White. And I also have some Mod Podge here. I'm using the matte. You could use gloss if you want to. And I'm also going to be using Afterglow from the Glitter Grind. So, what I'm going to do here is just take an old makeup brush and I'm going to coat this entire tumbler with Mod Podge, making sure that you get a nice, even coat all over the tumbler. Now that you have a nice even coat of Mod Podge all over your tumbler, you're going to go in with this Afterglow. I got it from the Glitter Grind and I will have my link for them down in the description box below. And you're just going to take this glitter and you're going to coat it all over the tumbler. Now I do like to do a couple passes through here just to make sure that I get a good coverage and working fast before the Mod Podge starts to dry. Now I just like to top off the excess that I may have on my tumbler. Now I will let this sit and dry for about an hour or two before we move on to the next step of the cow print. I do use alcohol ink to make my cow prints. Now that our Mod Podge is dry, I do have my water slide already printed out and cut. I just used a triangle shape here and we're going to make a V. Now I am going to make a little bit of a guideline. That way I know where not to put my alcohol ink. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to measure my triangle and I'm going to put some painter's tape right on the tumbler of where that triangle is going to be. So as you can see here, I am just measuring to figure out exactly where this water slide is going to go on my tumbler. And I have a couple pieces of painter's tape. I put it on my pants because we are putting this on raw glitter to remove some of the stickiness. And it doesn't stick very well onto the raw glitter, which is good. So I just have a little lip and I flip it on the inside. That way my guide stays exactly where I want it. And then I just go ahead and take my triangle to make sure the painter's tape is exactly where I want it to be. And I do end up moving it in because I don't want a lot of space to be blank. I would like to get the cow print as close as the image as possible, but not on the image. Now that we're done taping off of our image, we are just gonna go in with our alcohol inks and create some beautiful cow prints here. So what I'm using is Let's Resin and I'm going to use coffee. This is one of the darker browns in this little kit that I got off of Amazon. I will have a link down in the description box below if you would like to check it out. And you want to make sure that you shake up your alcohol inks very well before you use them. And I'm just going to use this straight out of the bottle. So what you want to do is you just want to spit pick a spot out on your tumbler and you just want to start making some rigid outlines. And then you wanna go in and fill in the outline. So there's really, really no rhyme, no reason to this because every cow print is different. So I just go in, make some outlines, and then I will fill that in with the alcohol ink. And as you can see here, once you put the alcohol ink, it does spread a little bit. Don't put too much because it will start running. You just need enough for it to coat the glitter. And you want to do this all throughout the tumbler, wherever you would like your cow prints to be. Now, I love putting this on glitter because you can actually see the glitter shimmer through the cow prints. And when you put this under epoxy, it turns out absolutely gorgeous.
Once you're done with your cow print, you can go ahead and remove the tape from your tumbler. And I just went ahead and let mine dry overnight. And this is looking so beautiful. I absolutely love this glitter underneath the alcohol ink. After I let the alcohol inks dry overnight, I did seal it with Rust-Oleum two times clear and I did epoxy it until smooth. And this, I'm so in love with this right here. <laughs> now it's time to put on our little water slide here. So I am using Haze water slide paper and I will have a link for that down in the description box below. This is one of my favorite water slide papers. And you just want to go ahead and soak this until it starts coming off the backing. Now that our water slide is easily coming off the backing, I like to put my water slides face down and I will make sure everything is lined up the way that I like it. And I will just add a little bit of pressure and pull down. And then I will also go in with my squeegee and get out any air bubbles or... Um, water that is trapped underneath. Now with this being close up to the rim, I do pay special attention to my water slide up and through here. I will take my finger and my squeegee to get out any of the water, any of the wrinkles or anything like that that's near the rim. And I will do that until it even starts drying. That way it's nice and stuck to the rim and you don't have any wrinkles. Now I went ahead and let my water slide dry for at least a couple hours and then I did go in with a coat of epoxy. Now we're ready to go in with our vinyl striping. This vinyl, I cut it out to be uh, 0.04, I believe, by 11 inches. And this vinyl is from Courtney's Customs. And I will have a link for her down in the description box below. Be sure to check it out because this vinyl is absolutely gorgeous. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start at the top of the cup right up next to my water slide. And I'm just going to outline my water slide here, outline this V split. And then I like to run my finger down to make sure that the vinyl is adhering very well to the surface. Now I will go in with my second stripe and do the same thing to the other side. Now you're just gonna go in with your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut off the excess here. That way you have a nice point down at the bottom. I'm also gonna go in and trim the excess off of the top too. And that's our vinyl striping. Now what I like to do is I like to let my vinyl sit for a little bit and then I will go ahead and seal it with Rust-Oleum two times clear to make sure that everything is sealed in before I epoxy. Now I'm gonna go in with 20 milliliters of epoxy and I'm just going to make sure that I get a nice even coat of epoxy all over this tumbler. Now the epoxy that I do use, I do use KS resin and that has a cure, cure time of 12 hours. And then I've also been using the Speedy PD by DIY Epoxy, which I absolutely love. Definitely recommend checking both of them epoxies out. And I will have links for them down in the description box below if you would like to check it out. After I get my coat of epoxy on here, I like to go in with my heat gun. Now you can use a torch for this as well but I just go in and I will pop any bubbles that may be lingering. And this is the final result. I am absolutely in love with this tumbler. I think it turned out so gorgeous. I love the cow print, love the sunflowers, and I feel like that green just made the water slide pop. I'm just so in love with this tumbler. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I really hope this video inspired you to make this exact tumbler or something similar. Thank you so much again, and I will see you all next time. Bye.